Hello everyone, this is Joseph Notch here and today I am coming back to you with a new video and the day of the days has come. I know that uh, several of you have been looking forward to this competition. Today is the announcement video of the second and only community Christmas competition. As you remember last year the topic was the drag coefficient of a monkey head and this time I thought to myself let's just abuse Suzanne further and let's optimize her head thermally. So what you might not know Suzanne the monkey from last year is actually a superhero and like you, as you know every superhero has a, sup uh, has a power and her power is that her eyes glow in the dark. But like every superhero she has also a weakness and her weakness is her nose because it is made out of chocolate so it melts after a short while after um, switching on her eyes. So I would like to ask you guys to optimize a cooling system in her head. So the specifications, I selected a couple of spe specifications here. You can see the STL file that you can use. So she has two eyes and through each, so each eye uh, glows with, uh, gives off a heat of 100 watt. So this is a specification and her nose. So this region here, as you saw here, the darker region is made out of chocolates and the melting temperature is somewhere between 30 and 32 degrees Celsius. So the aim is to keep the temperature below 30, but below 29 degrees Celsius. And the idea is that you guys have the possibility to use her left and her right ear and on her, in, her, uh, in her right ear you can uh, ent enter a coil and in this coil you pump in some kind of liquid which cools the head and then inside her head you can use any kind of coil system to optimize the thermal behavior in her head and on the other side on her left hand ear you can then exit the coil in, in her on her ears and on the back side otherwise she would look stupid. So as for the materials as you might uh, uh, already guess this is a conjugate heat transfer problem so her eyes is your choice you can uh, Google the materials of eyes, but you can also use, I don't know, maybe glass, but this is your choice. Uh, important is that her head is made up of normal living tissue, so uh, we don't uh, care about stuff like bones or uh, blood vessels. We are engineers, we are only interested in the mean uh, material, so we assume tissue in her head and the cooling uh, so the coil the cooling system can made out of any kind of for example metal stainless steel whatever you choose and the cooling material which you pump through your coils is also uh, something of your choice um, it, for example water can also be your cooling material important is that your inlet temperature is 20 degrees Celsius so approximately room temperature and the initial temperature of the head is also at 20 degrees Celsius and we assume the worst case scenario so we um, take a look at her head in perfect vacuum so her head so the outer boundaries are adiabatic boundaries for the head and everything else is up to you, the volume flux of your liquid going through the coils and ma the material, material properties, constant, non-constant, everything and, and the geometry inside the head is everything up to you. So these are the specifications and everything else is up to you to cool her nose at least the nose down below 30 or 29 degrees Celsius so her nose does not melt. 
Okay, so optimize the monkey head. Well, it's a conjugate heat transfer problem. Steady state, please uh, calculate it. A uh, steady state solution, so she can use that for a longer time period. And um, you can download the STL file from last year. Please consider to. Um, uh, that uh, normally if you um, export uh, the head in, in blender the height of the monkey head is two meters high which is very unrealistic so please scale it down by a factor of 10 so the height of the head is approximately 0 0.2 meters and if you download the stl file from my github account from last year then please also consider this and a, sh a small tip on the side the mesh that is exported the STL file uh, if you use the out of the box version of the STL file from Band Blender it might be not perfect so you might need to adjust it a little bit for the for snappy hex mesh and so the point is to optimize the head using open foam and what does the Winner win, of course, like last year, honor and glory to be the best in this competition. And of course, this year you will also get from me a t-shirt. So it is exactly the same way as last year. So please simulate and optimize her the, the thermal phenomena in her head. Five slides of presentation, if it's a little bit more, it's not a problem, but approximately five slides of PDF of your results. And also, and please send me this PDF to the Gmail account associated with my YouTube channel. It's jnmlujnmlu at gmail.com. And please enter your name, your affiliation and your contact address, at least your, your email address into the mail. And the subject shoe of your mail should be competition so i know that you are submitting something now, from the time timeline it's exactly the same way as last year just the dates change so i am announcing this on the 2nd of october 2018 and then after that you have seven weeks to run the simulation to create the mesh, to take a look at the mesh refinement, then the boundary condition case setups, then the materials, maybe non-constant material properties, and to, uh, take a look at different geometries, take a look at different uh, coil systems as you wish. And so you have seven weeks to run this steady state conjugate heat transfer problem. And the end of submission is on the 20th of November, 2018 at 1800, so six in the evening in Central Europe. This is where I live. Please check what time this is in your time region. And then soon after the 20th, I will upload a video on to YouTube with the best submissions or most probably all the submissions because uh, you guys are great. And also upload the PDFs to my GitHub account so you can take a look at the presentations. And then like last year, you guys will vote who you think did the best job and after that uh, the viewers can vote below that video where I will upload the results and you have four weeks after that after the 20th of November until the 18th of December also until 1800 CT Central European time and then I will announce the winner the days before Christmas. So these are the dates. So what to remember, the submission deadline is the 20th, not 20 TT, but 20th of November 2018 in the evening, 1800 CET, so six in the evening. And please again, send me your PDF to jnmlujnmlu at gmail.com with the subject competition and with your name and affiliation. So if you like this, um, idea then please like the video share it and subscribe to my channel if you want to have more good stuff on open foam and all i can say now is may the best win again so i hope that you like this i would like to thank you for watching and listening and i hope to see you next time